So if you're considering running for a trustee campaign, the major, there's a lot of stakeholders in the community. Probably the most important and foremost among these are parents. So you have to think to yourself, how are you going to reach parents? There's a few ways to do this. There's, most schools have a parent council. So probably your best bet is to make sure that you visit and get to know all the parent councils for each school that you have in the ward. There could be 20 or 40 schools depending on the ward and the exact dynamic, but that's the kind of work that you're going to have to put into because uh, it's going to invariably be important for you to have the backing of these of parents and the parents that are on the council are most likely to be the most in tune even though you could be talking to one parent their view may have a lot of weight in the community it could be like a community leader a community organizer in their own right and those five or six people in the parent council actually be may be more representative of a hundred people behind them who listen to their views and you kind of rely on them you know sort of leave lead parental involvement in the school. So I'd say the most important stakeholder really when you're dealing with the school board is the parents and the parent councils are the best way to access them. The other way to access parents is of course the one we're all familiar with which is walking around knocking on doors. <laughs> this is the second method <laughs> and this you know requires the most amount of time and anyone who seriously is going to run is going to have to spend a lot of time walking around the ward and trustee wards are big. They're the size of two council wards put together. If I remember, there's 44 councillors and a trustee has two council wards. So there's 22 trustees, sorry. So each trustee ward is twice the size of a council ward. So you have to do twice the effort, twice the amount of work, twice the schools, twice the number of parents. So you know, you're gonna have to get a good pair of shoes. <laughs> you have to walk around the ward and make sure you reach as many parents as possible. There are other stakeholders like the principals who ultimately you will work with in your capacity. So it might be also good to go around the schools and to introduce yourself uh, to the principals. Um, and within the TDSB, each gr grouping of schools are also grouped into these things called learning centers. And each learning center has like a supervisor. So you'd probably want to look at what learning centers are in your ward and see who the superintendent, sorry, not supervisor, who the superintendent is and meet that person. Because ultimately, if you're successful in your election, you're the primarily person you're going to be working with would be the superintendent of that learning center and through them the principals of your schools. So when you think of working with the TDSB, ultimately if you're successful, those are the key people you're going to work with. But who will you be serving? You'll be serving the parents. So as I mentioned earlier, this is how you reach out to the parents. And I think you, you do all those together, you know, you'll have a good shape. And if you're elected or not, the principals, the supervisors and the parents will all appreciate it that you came to them and asked for their opinion and their view of what's going on.